the um, version of a Manhattan, but for the ladies. You know, they had to name and give a name to uh, what the girls were drinking in the show, and they came up with a cosmopolitan. Vodka cranberry is definitely apparently a drink of choice. Everyone's drinking in Manhattan, but how to make it a little bit more interesting? Name it a cosmopolitan and put more alcohol into it. So we will start with half alkaline juice. We need it. This drink needs it. It is strong and it needs this one for freshness, tanginess, fruitiness. Next step, uh, citron vodka. Once again, we use citron vodka just to enhance the citrusy taste in the drink. I'm going to use 45 milliliters of citron vodka, which is 30 ml and 15. Don't need much more. Oh, what well, you can, it's not in our bar. And we make it this way because we definitely found the right balance. Now, 15 ml of Cointreau. We use Cointreau because it's an orange, like bitter orange liqueur. But once again, if you've got triple sec, Curacao back home, even blue Curacao, go for it. It will give a funny purple color to your drink. And finally, some cranberry juice. We don't want to use too much cranberry juice just because it's going to make your drink too sweet and we're using nice ingredients and we don't want to have something that's too easy to drink and if it's too sweet it would make you even like thirstier, want more and that's something that will get you, like that's what we call an honest drink, you can taste the booze into it but it is, it is strong. Like it, it is, it's supposed to be for women, but I would be honest, when a man order um, the Cosmopolitan from me, he's got double my respect. Just because, you know, it's supposed to be a woman drink. <laughs> then it takes some courage to walk among your friends with a pink martini glass in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> nice, chill martini glass, that's what we need. Now, once again, um, I've put lots of ice in the mojito. I'm doing the same with this one. I'm filling the small part with ice. Once again, too little ice will melt and make it taste like water. When you shake, for the first time you're overthinking, you don't look pretty, so put on a nice selfie face, be <laughs> natural, and shake. Two hands on it, hold it pretty much parallel to the floor, and roll it, and look natural. <laughs> um, shaking is a nice and fun experience, so make sure you know you take high. Now, if you're feeling confident, so now like the temperature inside it is free, like it's minus two, minus three, it's frozen on the outside, you can't unseal it, like it won't come out. I think everyone saw uh, the last 50 shades of grey. Oh. I went a little bit too well. <laughs> it's a uh, it's shake are uh, uh, quite new. And usually they're really, really hard to unseal. <laughs> or maybe I'm you know, just a bit too enthusiastic. So now everything that's going into a martini glass has to be double strain. Single strain around the top is going to filter the big eyes and the, and the pieces of lime and everything and double strainer. This one will hold all the broken ice crystals into your drink. I'll show you. Nice color. See, everything at the bottom is crystal ice. This is, like if you don't filter it well, it's going to burn your lips, your taste buds, your teeth, your tongue, and it won't make the experience enjoyable and it's going to mess with the taste of the drink. And you know, after having this one, instead of having a second one, you might just order a beer or a glass of wine. It's not what we want. Now, fun part. Who doesn't like setting things on fire? <laughs> so, we are using an orange liqueur. The drink is basically finished. It doesn't need much more. Now, we're just going to give this drink a mist, a scent around it. That's going to be different to what you would be tasting. Just to mess with our people's senses. Heat up the orange essence into it and Caramelizing orange, here you are, cosmopolitan. You should smell the caramelized orange, once again. Yes. <laughs> Did you see him check? <laughs>